You look like a hardy soul, unconcerned with the prospect of death by trick, trap, or misadventure. How do you feel about helping a defenseless scholar from Gideon unearth a little history from Undertow Cavern? Oh, and can you swim? Have you heard of Phalevon the Magnificent? He was a famous Nibbanese Minotaur hunter, but his final resting place was lost to time. After years of searching, I think I finally found the site of Phalevon's mausoleum. I hope to recover proof that this is Phalevon's tomb. His armor, helm, and sword would do nicely. But I didn't get far before I found the cavern overrun with goblins and minotaurs, and parts of it are flooded. I'll pay you well to help me. No one in Leowin realizes that Undertow Cavern is the final resting place of a great hero. Let me secure my belongings and I'll meet you inside. Time to grab the bull by the horns and wade right in! <laughs> I found accounts of Phalevon's burial in a shining mausoleum on a hill outside Leowin. He was laid to rest with his arms and armor, relics of his many victories. This is the place, but goblins infest the caverns, and minotaurs too. You would be, I suppose. Well, Phalevon the Magnificent had a golden helm. He wore armor of impervious mail. And he wielded a sword of exceptional sharpness. The stories say that Phalevon had the most beautiful mail, impervious to sword, arrow, and spear. We don't know much about armor of his era, but he was known as the Magnificent. I can only surmise his armor was quite splendid. Phalevon's sword was so sharp, it was said to be able to cut the air itself. No, that isn't right. I suppose any sword will cut air. Ah, that's it. This one could cut through armor-like air. That's what I was told. As I understand it, the helm was a gift from the Lord of Leowin in gratitude for Phalevon's many heroic deeds in Blackwood. The stories say it was fashioned in the shape of a roaring dragon's face. Well, it has been many hundreds of years. I suppose Phalevon's arms and armor might not be much to look at now, but in any condition they would be of immense historical value. I simply know it. I suppose goblins aren't much of a surprise. They infest many caves in this region, although I had hoped I wouldn't run into any. The minotaurs I didn't expect. None have been seen so close to Leowin in centuries. That's the very question I was wondering about. Wherever they came from, these minotaurs seem very hostile. Enraged, even. I've heard all kinds of fighting inside. I think they're angry at the goblins. Do minotaurs and goblins get along? That's because it was swallowed by the earth. One night, 700 years ago, people living nearby heard a terrible sound. When they came to look in the morning, they found that the whole mausoleum had fallen into the caves underneath the hill. Because the caves beneath this hill were the site of Phalevon's last and greatest battle. The mausoleum was a monument to his victory, as well as his tomb. Until Undertow Cavern swallowed it up anyway. Just the sort of place goblins love. Darksome, dank, and foul.
This armor shone by the light of moons or sun. It's just too bad Minotaurs are enraged by shiny objects. I can just picture this sword cleaving savage minotaurs. A pity it's still beyond use now. Imagine how many times this helm saved the heroic Thalavon's head! Except that last time, obviously. Hmm. The armor, helm, and sword are all badly damaged. Skeptics might say these could have belonged to anybody. We need to find Thalavon's Horn of Magnificence to settle the question for good. But where is the horn? Why isn't it here? Thalavon's Horn of Magnificence was his greatest treasure. My grandmother told me he made it from the horn of a Minotaur lord. It had a brass cap inscribed with an intricate design. When Thalavon blew it, echoes rang from the hills for seven days. I am. Mostly. But yes, I have a personal stake in this. Thalavon is a distant ancestor. I grew up on stories of his battles, his magic horn. Oh, could this be about the horn? Grandmother told me the horn's note drove minotaurs mad with fear and rage. But sometimes the horn called minotaurs to battle even when no one sounded it. Maybe the minotaurs are here because of the Horn of Magnificence. Oh, I wondered about that too. House Vero mostly died out long ago, but they were certainly real enough. We can trace a relationship to Felavon's line on my mother's side. There is truth to my grandmother's tales. I'm certain of it. No. No one outside my family remembers Felavon. Almost all of the histories that recorded his deeds have been lost. Even his mausoleum vanished. But now I'm close to the proof that Felavon really existed and was a great hero. Did you hear that? Felavon's horn! Sure, I heard the horn in this chamber, but who sounded it? Oh, 
Sauron's horn, just as the stories described it. Did this goblin sound the note we heard? It looks like we can get out through here, if you don't mind getting a little wet. Finally, proof of Phalevon's legend. I'll be the talk of Gideon once I bring these trophies home. And yet, I wonder, did the goblins here cause their own troubles by meddling with Phalevon's horn? Or is it dangerous to just keep around? I want to take them back to Gideon and prove, once and for all, that my family's story is true. Fame, fortune, festivities await! But if these relics, especially the Horn of Magnificence, are dangerous, perhaps I shouldn't bring them home. You're right. Phalevon's Magnificence deserves to be remembered far and wide. I'll take these historical relics to Gideon and prove the truth of my family's old legends. Thank you for your encouragement. We may be bruised, battered, and wet, but these relics tell a magnificent story. Without your help, I'd never have learned about the fate of Phalevon and the Horn. Thank you. Oh, I shouldn't forget your pay. Visit me in Gideon sometime. I hope to see you again sometime. I hope to see you again sometime. Although I must confess, now that I've finally found evidence supporting the legend of Phalevon, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do next. Don't worry about me. I shall set out at once. And I shall neither fear, fret, nor flinch from any dangers on my road. After all, I share the bloodline of a great hero. A few generations removed, anyway. <laughs>